in computer networking, multiquest is group communication where information is addressed to a group of destination computers simultaneously. Multiquest should not be confused with physical layer point to multipoint communication. Group communication may either be application layer multiquest or network assisted multiquest, where the latter makes it possible for the source to efficiently send to the group in a single transmission. Copies are automatically created in other network elements, such as routers, switches and cellular network base stations, but only to network segments that currently resides members of the group. Network-assisted multicast may be implemented at the Internet layer using IP multicast, which is often employed in Internet protocol applications of streaming media, such as Internet television scheduled content and multipoint video conferencing but also for ghost distribution of backup disk images to multiple computers simultaneously. In IP multicast the implementation of the multicast concept occurs at the IP routing level, where routers create optimal distribution paths for datagrams sent to a multicast destination address. Network-assisted multicast may also be implemented at the data link layer using one-to-many addressing and switching such as Ethernet multicast addressing, asynchronous transfer mode point-to-multipoint virtual circuits or infinite band multicast. IP multicast IP multicast is a technique for one-to-many communication over an IP infrastructure in a network. The destination nodes send join and leave messages, for example in the case of Internet television when the user changes TV channel. IP multicast scales to a larger receiver population by not requiring prior knowledge of who or how many receivers there are. Multicast uses network infrastructure efficiently by requiring the source to send a packet only once, even if it needs to be delivered to a large number of receivers. The nodes in the network take care of replicating the packet to reach multiple receivers only when necessary. The most common transport layer protocol to use multicast addressing is user datagram protocol. By its nature, UDP is not reliable or euro messages may be lost or delivered out of order. Reliable multicast protocols such as pragmatic general multicast have been developed to add loss detection and retransmission on top of IP multicast. IP multicast is widely deployed in enterprises, commercial stock exchanges, and multimedia content delivery networks. A common enterprise use of IP multicast is for IPTV applications such as distance learning and televised company meetings. As of 2006, most effort at scaling multicast up to large networks have concentrated on the simpler case of single source multicast, which seems to be more computationally tractable. Still, the large state requirements in routers make applications using a large number of trees unable to work while using IP multicast. Take presence information as an example where each person needs to keep at least one tree of his subscribers, if not several. No mechanism has yet been demonstrated that would allow the IP multicast model to scale to millions of senders and millions of multicast groups and, thus, it is not yet possible to make fully general multicast applications practical. For these reasons, and also reasons of economics, IP multicast is not, in general, used in commercial Internet backbones. Application Layer Multicast Application layer multicast over unicast overlay services for application level group communication are widely used. Notably the Internet Relay Chat, which is more pragmatic and scales better for large numbers of small groups. IRC implements a single spanning tree across its overlay network for all conference groups. However, this leads to suboptimal routing for some of these groups. Additionally, IRC keeps a large amount of distributed states that limit growth of an IRC network, leading to fractioning into several non-interconnected networks. The lesser-known PSYC technology uses custom multicast strategies per conference. Also some peer-to-peer -peer technologies employ the multicast concept when distributing content to multiple recipients, known as peer casting. Explicit multi-unicast is an alternate multicast strategy that provides reception addresses of all destinations with each packet. As such, since the IP packet size is limited in general, XCAST cannot be used for multicast groups with many destinations. The XCAST model generally assumes that stations participating in the communication are known ahead of time, 
so that distribution trees can be generated and resources allocated by network elements in advance of actual data traffic. Multicast over wireless networks and cable TV, wireless communications as well as cable TV bus networks are inherently broadcasting media, that is multipoint channels, especially if the antennas are omnidirectional and radio TV transmitters covering a region form a broadcasting network that send the same content. However, the communication service provided may be unicast, multicast as well as broadcast, depending on if the data is addressed to one, to a group or to all receivers in the covered network, respectively. In digital TV, the concept of multicast service sometimes is used to refer to content protection by broadcast encryption, that is encrypted content over a simplex broadcast channel only addressed to paying viewers. In this case, data is broadcast to all receivers, but only addressed to a specific group. The concept of interactive multicast, for example using IP multicast, may be used over TV broadcast networks and view the improve the efficiency and offer more TV programs or reduce the required spectrum. Interactive multicast implies that TV programs are sent only over transmitters where there are viewers, and that only the most popular programs are transmitted. It relies on an additional interaction channel, where user equipment may send join and leave messages when the user changes TV channel. Interactive multicast has been suggested as an efficient transmission scheme in DVBH and DVBT2 terrestrial digital television systems. A similar concept is switched broadcast over cable TV networks, where only the currently most popular content is delivered in the cable TV network. Another similar concept is cell TV, that is, implies TV distribution over 3G cellular networks using the network assisted multicasting offered by the Multimedia Broadcast Multicast Service Service, or over 4G LTE cellular networks with the EMBMS service. Scalable video multicast in an application of interactive multicast, where a subset of the viewers receive additional data for high-resolution video. Other multicast technologies, in an optical mesh network, protecting multicast light paths is one of the key concerns. The most straightforward approach to protect a multicast tree is to establish a link disjoint backup tree which establishes dedicated protection. It is much easier to find an arc disjoint path for each leaf node in a light tree. The essence of protecting a multicast session is to find a backup path for each destination node when a link on the working path to that node fails. See also References Lawrence Hart, Introduction to Data Multicasting, Althos Publishing 2008 AB Media Communication Based on Application Layer Multicast RFC 1324 2.5.1 Size, IETF. White Paper, EU, SICA. Rick Boyby, Nancy Feldman, UGMI, Wim Livens, and Dirk Coombs. Explicit Multicast Concepts and Options. Retrieved May 25, 2013. A. M. Erickson, S. M. Hazabaraman, F. Frail, M. Star Paragraph Stra Paragraph M. A Euro efficient interactive multicast over DVBT2, utilizing dynamic SFNs and PUPS. A Euro, 2013 IEEE International Conference on Computer and Information Technology, London, UK, June 2013. Ensina, Aras and S. V. Vasu Devan, A Euro OE. The Statistics of Switched Broadcast. A Euro, Proceedings of the SCTE 2005 Conference on Emerging Technologies, Tampa, Florida, USA. January 2005, External Links, IP Multicast, IOS, Cisco. MBONE Deployment, IATVA. Multicast and Anicast Group Membership, IATVA. Multicast Mobility, IATVA, Reliable Multicast Transport, IATVA. Protocol Independent Multicast, IATVA. Source Specific Multicast, IATVA. Multicast Security, IATVA. IP Ethernet Multicast, CX, Firewaller. Scalable Adaptive Multicast, ERTVA. Multicast, SOCTA. IP Details. Multicast on Packet Radio, US Packet R. Multicast over TCP IP, the GNU Linux Documentation Project, March 1998A. Multicast in Linux. Some sections are outdated and do not cover recent software. QPIMD a Euro PIMD for Quagga, 
into a Euro PIM module for the Quagga routing suite. RFC 1112, host extensions for IP multicasting, Inc. Mapping of IPv4 multicast addresses to MAC addresses, RFC 3170, IP multicast applications, challenges and solutions, RFC 3180, GLOP addressing in 233 August, RFC 4608, source specific protocol independent multicast in 232 August, RFC 5757, multicast mobility and mobile IP version 6, problem statement and brief survey, RFC 6224, base deployment for multicast listener support in proxy mobile IPv6 domains, RFC 7046, a common API for transparent hybrid multicast, mobile multicast fast handover, IATVA. Multicast listener extensions for MIPv6 and PMIPv6 fast handovers. Mobile multicast sender support, IATVA. Mobile multicast sender support in proxy mobile IPv6 domains. JSSM, Java, Araclia. Source specific multicasts. Multicast, UK. Southampton on Iversitia. XCAST, JPA, a commercial media wiki powered website on explicit multicast technology. Xorpa Euro, a free software router with multicast support. Simlo, Kernan, AMT, automatic IP multicast without explicit tunnels, CH, Rebra.